This is all part of the president's economic uh, agenda, the push he's making to focus attention back on issues that affect middle class Americans. And until now, when it comes to this politically difficult issue, what to do with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac once they are wound down, what we should replace them with, he's avoided weighing in on this right now. Remember, these two insurance giants uh, own or guarantee half the mortgages in the U.S., and the president is going to say, uh, that um, he'll argue that the financing the nation's mortgage system mar could come primarily from the private sector so that once again taxpayers aren't on the hook like they were in 2008 when these GSEs got a 187.5 billion dollar taxpayer bailout in place of Fannie and Freddie the president is going to argue that he wants to see a government mortgage reinsurer of last result, a backstop only in case of catastrophic circumstances. And the principles really outline a proposal uh, in the Senate that's been hashed out by Democrat Mark Warner of Virginia and Senator uh, Bob Corker of Tennessee. Now, administration officials, Betty, though, have been working quietly behind the scenes to help craft this legislation. Uh, how would this reinsurer of last resort, how would that work exactly, Juliana? So what the president is going to outline, Betty, with this reinsure is that private capital must be wiped out before the government pays out catastrophic guarantees. He's also not going to be announcing a timeline to wind down Fannie and Freddie, but that Corker Warner legislation, it would shutter the operations of Fannie and Freddie within five years. Now here's the rub, because House Republicans also have their own plan but it hasn't received any Democratic support. And what they're drafting is a bill that it winds down Fannie and Freddie, but it doesn't have this government-backed replacement. It leaves the Federal Housing Administration as the only backstop. All right, and, uh, and Juliana, what, will the, what else will the president say today? So he's also going to renew calls for Congress to make it easier for homeowners who don't have a government-backed mortgage to refinance. And also he's going to say that homeowners who are in foreclosure or bankruptcy because of a job loss who also meet certain requirements will be able to finance a home purchase with a federal housing administrative mortgage. Uh, and on a lighter note, Juliana, so we hear that the president's going to be uh, doing the late night comedy circuit again. Yeah, that's right, Betty. The president is going to stop by for a visit on Jay Leno's couch after he goes to Arizona. He'll head over uh, to Burbank, California. It's his fourth time as president, his sixth time uh, sitting and down with Jay Leno. Uh, but it's the first time he's going to be in that venue not running for re-election again. So perhaps he's going to be a little more funny, a little looser. Uh, <laughs> his advisors like it. Uh, they, they say it's a great venue for him. Leno really puts him at ease. Remember in, t in 2012, uh, the president made the joke about his, uh, his riff with Donald Trump saying that it goes back to their days on the soccer fields in <laughs> Kenya when they were growing up.